What's up, Toy Story's Don't Be and today we're doing a Godzilla collection. So let's get right into it from smallest to largest. So first, we actually have the Doug figure. Posability. And yeah, this figure is worth for half the price, because it comes like a two-pack with Suko, which we'll review pretty soon. But before Suko, I'm gonna review my bootleg. I transformed this burning Godzilla boot, burning Godzilla bootleg, trying to transform into minus one, but I think it failed. Goodbye, bootleg. Now we're on Suko. Of course, the same articulation is the same articulation as Scar King, but instead a bit different. Or instead of a ball joint, it's actually just like a swivel. And also, instead of Scar King, he has just foot, foot movement, which I was not that fond of stars. I mean, Scar King's movement. Now, onto one of my mini cuss, and that is Mothra Larvae form. Yeah, I don't have the head yet. So, yeah. Okay. So far we've been speed running it, but let's slow down a bit with the Super 7 Godzilla 1954 American poster. I mean, 1956 technically for America. But yeah. This figure's all not that good for 20 bucks. All you get is like foot, tail, head, arms. Just like the legendary figures, but since the legendary figures actually have a ball joint on the tail. Yeah. So, yeah, you can really, really make them, like, make them, like, walk around and such. Or, like, swing. But I wish you had more posability for the price. Allie, hello. So, anyways, let's get into... The Playmates figures. Which, well, yes, we will be doing an entire review on after, along with a review of God Dogs Call, like next week. First, let's start off with. Oh, Shimu! I won't show you guys yet, but I'm also making a custom if you repaint a Shimu into an Angiris colors. Is from from images I could find. So, yeah, he, he has frostbite. I mean, she has frostbite breath, opening mouth, a ball, a uh, sort of like a fake ball joint right here. Ball, also another fake ball joint. Foot movement, yeah, 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 same thing. These feet other without no ball joint instead just swift fake ball joint and a ball joint right here, which. If you look at this figure and then compare it to Angiris, I think Legendary was originally going to use Angiris as one of the villains, but couldn't get the rights. So, um, that's my theory on why they chose a character that sort of looks like that. Because they are technically already had Angiris as like a skeleton, but see, this, is, this looks like Angiris, but white and blue. Only does these things. So, yeah. On to the next figure. Of course. Now we're into my four Godzillas. Okay, we should probably start off with the regular Godzilla. Which I'm gonna quickly go grab as a tum. <laughs> and I'm back. And his atomic breath just pegs into the hole. Which, this could damage the figure, which I don't fond of. But why does Kong get so much movement? And Godzilla just says that, 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 just an opening jaw, and that. Kong has almost the exact same amount of posability, but it's with two swivel joints and not a mouth joint. It is not a ball joint, but yeah. But this is pretty alright for a $10 Godzilla figure. I mean, it works well. It's Godzilla. It resembles the movie Godzilla. And it's a battle damage. Why did they get rid of the battle damage? 
I don't know why. It would make the figures better. We want to. We want a battle day with Suko, so he can just be dead, lying on the ground. But yeah, it's it's an alright figure for a Godzilla one. Now let's go into my next review. After it's pretty soon. It is my Trend Masters Custom Godzilla. I lost the battle damage, but see the same atomic breath can be used. And as I will be maybe making a custom box, I don't know yet. I might make it just for display. But there we go. Boom. You can just do a light show. But yeah, I sort of used clay to make his head more rounder, like semi resemblance. And as he has the same amount of posability, but with a different paint job. And it's a lost his back. Anyways, time to get into the latest version of Godzilla. Godzilla Evolved. Same articulation thing other than without the battle damage. Which this figure's from the same line. Why is he the only one with battle damage? But yeah. This is a pretty old white figure, but I don't really get why they made his atomic breath. Pink, I mean, mo I mean, like, the Millennium Godzilla still had pinks. Dorsal plates, but also still had a blue atomic breath. This is what it would look like if this figure had the classic atomic breath. See, I can't use Shimu, seeing that's too big. So I just use, so yeah. It looks pretty alright. I mean, they could have, like, had, like, purple coming out of them and such. Reddish to purple, then blue, which would have worked. But why did they give him the same in color for his dorsal plates? Why? This figure is supposed to have salmon colored dorsal plates. It's supposed to be pink. And so that's why I used my Shimu vs. Godzilla figures. She's from the Minchang Gears. And a better version of this figure. And so what's with his jaw? If you want to fit that in, you need to like do that. You need to like rip open his jaw. See? Watch. I don't think figures aren't supposed to do that. And so why is this breaking already? I just got it. Look at that. A hole already. A gap. And why did they give him ball joints? I mean, they gave Shimu ball joints. They gave the figure where Godzilla escapes from his own skin ball joints on his arms. But why not this guy? We want him to do stuff. We want him to hit people. We want him to slap around children. So, yeah, that's it for me. And so, why isn't his eyes pink? I mean, I could have easily just made two versions. One that had the atomic breath and with one of those new versions of the heaves. To come with him. Or like that radio tower. And they could have just made him pink inside this version and such. And so, I have an idea for wave two for you guys are playmates. Scylla should be in it. See, now we already know Mothra's inside the film, by the way. I'm going to put spoilers at the end. Mothra figure. And guess what? The other version of Godzilla. Yeah. There's another version. And also, a better atomic breath version of this little guy. And also, maybe a Kong without Beast Glove would be nice. Or one of those new, like, Warrior Kong that serves Scar King would be nice. Oh, wait a minute, how about instead of Godzilla Evolved? It's a better, it's a, like, blue light up version, like a lighter version with, like, the dorsal plates being, like, not clear plastic anymore, but instead like solid leg blue or to represent that the ice coming out and make it more frosty and such for Shimu. 
We're just do all of them. Anyways, on to the main villain. Before we do Kong, seeing that this guy's shorter than Kong for some reason. And that is Scar King. Guess what? He's the best figure out of the line. He can look like an ape. He cannot look like an ape. You can give him a bone whip strapped around his shoulder. Here, just a second. You see, pack that in. There we go. See? Look at him. Yuck. He even has a ball joint. Look at his figure's pose ability range. Why didn't Kong get any of this stuff? They could have at least given him a ball joint. Because guess what? This Kong figure has a waist where it's like a little bit, like there's a slash on the waist. So maybe they were going to do a ball joint and just left it. And so why isn't he the battle wounds painted? We see the battle wounds. We can tell that they're there. Why keep it unpainted? Other than these scars. And aren't you supposed to have a metal tooth by now, Kong? A metal frickin' tooth? But yeah, this figure's alright, except for no hand pose ability, which you could've just, like, put a line between there so that it would still be able to move. Unless Kong's not allowed to move his hands anymore. Other than, like, that one. So anyways, on to the main thing. My custom Godzilla Evolved. Although I did... Dude, I did a realistic version of what Playmates would actually do, which is crappy paint job, which, why does King Ghidorah have orange eyes? And, also, mouth. Yeah. Guess what? They aren't salmon, salmon anymore colored. Yeah, I fixed your design, Playmates. Heck, I even just gave him pink eyes, like inside the trailers and everything. Anyways, on to one of my more favored figures. If it's not for its lack of posability on its wings, it's King Ghidorah. He's honestly one of the most posable figures. All three of his heads have ball joints. Ball joints at the neck, a ball, a ball joint at the head, sort of. Ball joints at the tail, swivel on the wing, I mean on the feet legs and nothing on the wings and so where's freaking Rodan the only figure of Rodan we have is a stupid titan tech insert insert image here so anyways you can like remove this yeah why does it look like why does it look like steak I don't know why but see, they could just use this mold for Godzilla's Conway too, but instead of adding like a little like slip inside like each head, so yeah, that would come with like one electricity rod thingy, anti -gra gravity beam, as whatever it's called, on it, so you can actually have him fire his electricity beam, gravity beam thing. Including Rodan! Where's the Mutos? Where's Rodan? I mean, Rodan did one figure, but no one else did. And so, what's been up with Mecha Godzilla? What happened to their Toho line of figures? They have this much possibility. I need a Godzilla 1998 just to stab. Anyways, on to the Funko Pops. Start off with the least Godzilla related, but technically still Godzilla related. Homerzilla! Yes, this was a thing. Yes, he eats donuts. So, open this box. And, honestly, I wish it came with like a donut or like a train. Because the Simpsons, Street of the Horror figures, come with like accessory. Or, say, with Hugo, he has like a bucket. Like fish in a water bottle, which Maggie has a broom and and like a wand. 
But anyways, why did this character come with no train? At least it's included on the original Godzilla, which I don't have yet. And also, seems like you forgot one of the most famous parts of Godzilla, which is his three. His three dorsal plate rows. But at least it still has like head articulation, and that's it. And as you can remove that. It's just Helmer. But Godzilla. Specifically 1954, and that's why he's colorized and white. So, anyways, let's put this figure back. Sorry for the ear ringing. My ears. They ponder my life. And how are we going to get this game? Oh. to the next Funko Pop right when I put this thing back in its box. Which of course this video is actually to test how long I can have on a YouTube video with only like 131 subscribers in it. But that reminds me, you better like and subscribe for more stuff like that. Like this. Because I do have a lot of dress perk collection, which I do want to share. And so why does Mechagodzilla look like that? He looks like a little gremlin. But yeah, this is honestly one of my more damaged Godzilla figures, most because of its age. I mean, look how damaged it is. But yeah, no head articulation like the last one. But it's fair. That figure is that figure's supposed to be like a ripoff of Godzilla. I mean, the very first one had it, but why is there only a black, white Mothra? You have the mold now, so why don't you make Mothra, King Ghidorah, Godzilla, Rogan, the main characters even, for like a King of the Monsters wave? And so why do you just continue to just to love Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla? Only those two? Oh, and it's Kong, but barely. Okay, Godzilla and Kong are also the ones with the most Funko Pops. And Mecha Godzilla still has his fair share, for say, with the three pack version, the singular version, the 1966 version. But where's Kiryu, the most famous version, the most loved version? I don't know. But anyways, this figure actually has a lot of detail for a Funko Pop. I mean, look at that. You know, there's a lot of, like, the dorsal plates, 3D modeled, like, wood-like texture. He even has this reptile skin. Yes, it's actually molded in. So anyways, let's put this figure back. I like his design, but why does his jaw open up so much? Why does he have such a fat head? I might get the other two figures I'm missing, which is the main character, which... Me? Kamino? Yeah, I finally said some Japanese thing correctly. And is isn't other than Gojira, but... And also, he'd Ray Godzilla. I might get those two later on. Because I need to complete the set. Which I will never even complete the guys' little versus Kong set because now it's so expensive. But yeah. He's just a good. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, not planned for that to be on there. Look at that design. This is so far one of my favorite Funko Pops I've ever owned. Just to get by its design. Maybe also, like, the blue one's cool design. But I have to say, it's not as good as Freddy, Fazbear, and 
the Modoc one. Specifically, this is specifically the um summer convention. Cause guess what? They gave him a new. I think they gave him. It was by no no. But anyways, yeah, let's put this figure back. Cause I don't know how long I have. And this figure satisfyingly fits into its box. Look how satisfying that is. It is. I mean, it just barely fits. This video might even be. This video so far might be a little less than Greaser Core Pilot because guess what? I'm making a pilot for a brand new show. And guess what? It's a dinosaur horror show. So you know what that means. It's gonna have some gore. It's gonna be rated R2 just to the gore. Which anyways. On the topic of pre-store horror, so far the plan's length is about 45 minutes long, with its own original music and such. Bye. So yeah, on to the next figure, which is the U2's 2-pack, which I will be getting the Mac Pack figure reviewing on this channel. It's the last thing. Look at this beautiful artwork on the back. Honestly, I wish they made just a figure that's just like Godzilla just shooting his beam at Kong and he's jumping. But too bad they never done, did that. And also, I've got one problem with this figure. Why the frickity frickity heck does it have a city in the background? We already knew that takes place inside the ocean due to trailers, which took forever to get out. So why put it inside the middle of the big city? Oh, this is... Oh, there we go. But yeah. This figure is honestly one of my favorites. Heck, even if I didn't fire effects, water freaking effects. Effects. Look at this. Godzilla freaking has to a simplified tail. I was like, I don't really like that, but still, he looks like an actual lizard. Why does he still have that iguana thing from like 1998? Look at Kong's design. He has an entirely painted mouth. Look at that! It looks so, so molded! Look at this! It's hollow! And it, you can still just throw this thing around! Look at this! It's slightly bit that! Although it has no possibility, they still got the monkey toes! Monkey feet! The monkey! The diabota! Look at the Godzilla! It looks like an actual suit design! Other than its simplified tail, why you twos? But still good figures. Look at he has every single hair there. My only problem this part is unpainted. No not that part. Not the monkey part, but that. But that See that part right there. Just focus in there. Yeah, but still, this is a pretty good figure. And also look at the heck of the heck! Godzilla is just a painted mouth. Also, you, I think you guys should just get this figure if you're a Godzilla fan. Or a King Kong fan. Or both. This is a good representation of both franchises. At their peak, or at least 
sort of at their peak. I mean, minus one was Godzilla's peak, but pretty close to their peak for at least like a fun Showa era like film. But of course, this is also a damage because I got this around Godzilla versus Kong, which I don't want to. And so look at this. Yeah, it has an entirely painted inside along with this. Which actually says its name. The Titanic Throwdown. Look at that! Look at that! See, this is a good figure, Funko. I mean, you twos. Funko, you should probably take some notes for your FNAF action figures. From the 3D modeler guy who made 3D models of the movie figures, which you still haven't even done yet. I, we know that we've got leaks about you guys doing such stuff as like, like, like the canceled plushies for you guys. But yeah, that can use comes with its own protector. Now, guess what? Guess how much this cost? Thirty freaking bucks without tax. It was probably like thirty-four with tax. But still, it's from the Godzilla call. I mean, Godzilla versus Kong coin. And guess what? It's still a good figure. Although it's from one of the worst movies of the MonsterVerse. Godzilla's Skull Island reigns supreme. Look how well they translated Godzilla into the YouTube's design. Which, yes. There's also a bunch more to the Godzilla YouTube's lineup. For say, they even just got like Toho related items from the Toho Godzillas, which Funko Pop, I mean Funko, I have an idea for you. Godzilla the oldest, seeing that's from the same, at least it is the oldest line of Godzilla comic books because Godzilla looks like a horse, and it is a Godzilla Marvel, Marvel's Godzilla King of the Monsters one way fights. The Avengers. I'm not gonna open this up because it's too rare. But look at this. This was issue 23 from the time. Look at Marvel Comics Group, and it was approved. Everything. Heck, even this had the yellow jacket guy being a good guy. Yeah. Anyways, on to the big things. What'd you guess what? Oh, right. And this I have a holiday ornament, but the figure's broken. But we're repairing it, so this is all you can see right now is the box. Yeah. But anyways, on to the newest contenders for my stop motion Godzilla movie series line up. And let's get off with the Godzilla figure. This is the figure I'll be using for him. And Godzilla vs. Jet Jaguar. Yep. Godzilla vs. Jet Jaguar. Where? You probably named Jet Jaguar. Yes, I did use the old Zerg toy from Lightyear. Although the figure's not that good. It does work for a giant mech suit. Made to hurt kaiju and such. Look at that. It's ability. And it's a good one. Battle damage? Why can't you do that anymore, playmates? But yeah, look at that. A semi fake ball joint. Look at that. Hand, wait, hand movement, playmates. You only did that for Kong, Suko, and Scar King. Why for no Godzillas? That does not have the feet movement. But what? But Suku does too. And Dub! This also is the worst possible figure. Look at that. Look at, look at that range of kick. On to the next villain. And that is. That is the Phantom. Yes, the foot's broken, but we're, you can't see that. Inside the film, he will appear. In. Yes, this will be like uh, the remains of Destroyer coming back 
as like sort of like a ghost thing. And then there's the Transformers seem to buy a long time later on. Because we did actually have a buy a long time teaser at the end of Godzilla the Day of Destiny. Now watch an outing in the description. But look at this feet movement. Sort of. I mean, let's call it the Thunder Stomp. You know, like some old toys from the line of Trend Masters. There we go. Claw attacks! Guess this is going to be an awesome figure. Also, hold, low, hold, you don't have to get out of here. This is actually a modified Kiryu. I mean, like an upgraded version of all the mechs, not just as Kiryu. Made specifically only to kill Destroya, Godzilla, and anything that appears in your eyes. I won't tell you yet. But yeah, look at that, even as a gun fingers. And just the fingers are meant to go into the Anyway, see ya.